recording then uh how do i i'm still figuring um, out how to set up this in the best possible way so on the video we can see everybody okay anyway i think one day i'll, I'll figure it out <laughs> okay so uh welcome everybody this week we have some very nice news to share uh, we'll be sharing the wins first so i'd like to start from bor please share your wins this week um yeah i mean i got it 900 euro um invoice it's like it's successful so from uh the dog training coach i'm not sure if this is last week or this is this week i'm a little bit confused but yeah that was one win and another win that's a good like, one <laughs> <laughs> yeah and then thanks and then the next one is like um yeah previously i was i was joining courses joining english courses right so the coach i'm familiar with her with her and then she know i'm a copywriter and then right now she contacted me um for some test work right but it's uh, it's like right now i'm a little bit tied up so i decided to pass it to like everyone else excluding jay and J gerald on this call right so um and then max is a little bit busy so um so yeah i mean Anastasia is okay, and then Vincent says okay too. So, um, I'm I'm still waiting waiting for the coach to reply. Um, so and then I will pass the names to her. Yeah. So that was considered a win as well, right? So yeah, that's all. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, so nice. Well, two months ago, if uh, I, uh, maybe one month ago, if I say uh, two months, two months ago, if I say. You have so many clients until you can't deliver and you have to pass your work to other people. Will you believe that? Yeah, I mean, it's really hard to believe. And then like, it's like, yeah, I mean, it's, it seems like everything just happens at once. I don't know why. I don't know if it's like, yeah, I don't know what actually happened, right? Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good problem. All right, so that's a um, that's a good win. All right, anybody else want to share their progress this week? Just raise the hand. I basically can just speak. Yeah. Anastasia, Vincent, and any wins you want to share with us? Any progress you want to share? For me, for me, I think it's a very it's a very simple one. Uh -huh. So yes. Uh, once, I think I have been well. Ball passed me some of uh, his contacts. So we are working together to do some product description for for YouTube videos. I think it is interesting. So I I work with him. So we will, we will probably deliver to the customers like these two three days. So I'm also letting him to start reviewing my works. So I'm also starting to be, starting to be more tied up because the borders are open. So we I am flying more frequent. I will be flying more frequently now. <laughs> to other countries for my work. <laughs> okay. So my, I think my win of the day is, you know, I think it's, a, it's very good for me to start working with uh, Paul and I hope we can work together for more projects in the near future. All right, nice. <laughs> okay, so uh, actually who win in this situation? All right, so let me just highlight this because not, uh, it might not be so obvious. So first of all, the client who gets the work win because if Bor didn't pass the work to Vincent, Bor might just tell, I'm too busy, I can't do the work. Okay, because the work we do actually impacts the business. So number one is the business owner win. Number two is Bor win, because now he gets to choose. He can keep just closing deals. He can just accepting deals. Okay, and like some of the work now he no longer let's say if it's uh, about writing descriptions maybe that is not what he like to do a lot or maybe he don't have a lot of experience he can actually now know how to pass the work to other people so that that's good for Bor. what's good for vincent is he gets his he get to try more things he get more experience also he get paid right so actually everybody wins and me and gerald feel very happy because we are uh, doing something good for the uh for the group so we, we also feel happy so is it everybody wins when you do this so don't 
just decline like you just uh decline the gigs like just say yes and then see who wants it in the community you know right there's always somebody who wants it uh if there's not enough people coming in this group then just ask us uh, uh other people when you attend the program those who uh struggle with prospecting struggle with getting gigs uh, this is the place to be yeah, so just, just building on what Jay has mentioned, you remember these are things we've been talking about just like less than a month ago of qualifying leads, taking the jobs you can do and passing and collaborating with other people. So this is, you, you guys are fantastic. We are super excited. You're already implementing it. And that's just the beginning. And going forward, as the group grows, there will be more opportunities coming. Actually, we would be overwhelmed with opportunities. And if we operate in the, in the world of abundance, there are actually more opportunities for those who are open. And this is the spirit I would like all of you guys to be operating from. There's too much. We cannot, it's a blue ocean. Yeah. Yeah. Like, um, on, so I'll just share what happened on Friday. Friday itself, uh, I spoke with a, a accountant. He's selling a bookkeeping po program. But basically, I'm, I have too much work to do. He wants me to handle the Google Ads. So um, unfortunately, nobody is running Google Ads in the community. So I'm like, uh, you have to wait for another two, three months. So sometimes we don't need to say yes. We can just like, you know, delay the sale. And this is like, it's not like I'm just de delaying artificially. I literally have two projects on hand. One I just got started. One I haven't even got started. So if I take on the third one, I think I'll go crazy. So let's not set ourselves up for failure. We want to give uh, everybody, all our clients, the amount of attention that they need. Right. So today then we'll ask uh, some questions. Uh, so let's say, Anastasia, what will happen if, let's say, three months from now, or let's say six months from now, you are in the same situation with Boy? Like, I have too many clients. I have to pass the work to other people. How would that change your life how will that change your work you're muted anastasia yes uh i don't know i like, probably i will share the works to others as well <laughs> you know yeah because uh uh no but the thing is uh i did already share my works to some other because uh there there are some clients who wants to write in indonesian but i don't i don't really I don't really do that because I don't even uh, I, I can't I can't even write my own language like structurally. You know, like uh, it can be because it's a mother tongue, so you speak like like uh, like in Bronx, you know. <laughs> so I cannot write nicely, so I I give it to someone else. Uh, but the thing inside a problem now. Um, the person, I mean, there's a lot of projects, but the last project they just disappeared. So that's the thing that I face now. Uh, maybe yeah, just one project, and just just one project, and then they just like sort of like disappear. So I um, hmm, I don't know. We tell <laughs> us more about that. Let's see if we can solve that. Yeah, maybe there's something. Yeah, let's talk about that right away. Tell uh, us more. What happened actually? Uh, sorry. Uh, yeah, tell me. us more. Yeah. Yes. Ah. Yes. Tell us more. We need to understand what happened. Oh yeah, it's just like uh, there's uh, he gave me like the uh, projects uh, and then I already like um, uh, send it to him. Well, it's other people. <laughs> it's other people work with. I send it. Then uh, I asked for the payment, but uh, he just like never replied. Just uh, so I already like asked again. Like I mean, like nicely. It's not like um, you, you. You mean you did the work? Then you. Gave the work, then you didn't get paid. I already gave the work. Yeah, I already get the work, but not paid because when you give the work, it's like when you propose the milestones in Upwork, then they give you the they start then then they give you the money. That's the thing. You give the work and they give the money. It's not the other way around. Do you know like when 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 you when your work finished, um, then they give the money. Bor, do you have any suggestions for this? So, yeah, I mean, uh, it, like, is is the milestone actually set before you start the work? 
Yeah, uh, the miles is like going on because uh, all of this time there's nothing happens, you know, like there's no problem at all with the payment. Uh, like every time I send my work and they already, they straight away paid me. But only like this last one that they uh, they didn't give me the money. So I don't know what to do because because you give the milestones and they need to approve that. They need yes. to approve that. Yes. Yeah. But they don't. They don't approve. But I already like send it. The so the mount, So it's like. Uh, let me see if I understand this correctly. So the contract is already ongoing for a while. Yeah. And yeah. then the milestones are set before you start every work. And then yeah. once you deliver the work, they will actually yeah. approve the milestone. Yeah. But at yeah. the last time, they didn't approve it. Yeah. For example, like when you you when you usually give your work right, and then yes. they you know edit or whatever you know, and then after that they approved, and then the the money's the money's coming in. But uh, the last one, uh, they don't do that. I've already like because we are in the team, so like I've already asked as well in the team, but they just don't answer. Right. I don't I mean, know if like. I think when you after you um sorry after you deliver did you actually deliver the work to, uh on that book. Right, I mean, submit it yeah, on our yeah, work. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, not, not on, not, not on messaging. On yep, not, yeah, not, messaging. not just on messaging, but actually submit but, uh, it on yeah, our work. Both, yeah, in the messaging both. and then the and then the upwork as well. It just it just happens already, like already, like already ten times already. Ten times of the work has already been yeah. Already it's a project. The project's already like ten. Uh, it's already ten projects. You know. Okay. Right. So, so because I remember upwork, there's a there's a policy. Once you submitted the work, um, mm -hmm. is it happened recently or is it like long time ago? Yeah, recently. Okay, yes, right. Recently. So it's like maybe a few days ago, right? Uh, last week. Oh, last week. So after, actually after you submit the work and if they, yeah, Max say, said it already, 14 days, if they didn't give any feedback to you, if they don't like make any comments or anything, 14 days, Upwork will give you the payment automatically. So they have to reply you after you submit the work to Upwork, right? So 14 days without reply, it means that um, the work is confirmed or the work has no problem or something like that, right? So about you, that. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah, let's see. Because the, usually I, at the end of my work, I propose, I propose, uh, I propose a milestone. I said yeah. like, I've already done this. Uh, this is the money I want to, uh, I want to ask for you. And um, usually they approved, and then it's like that. But then um, I haven't even seen, you know, like I I didn't see where is the, but I've already proposed, but I haven't seen it in the uh, in the uh, in the chat. So like, I don't know. Uh, they just have disappeared in both in the messenger and as well and in the app work. So I don't know. I mean. The the point is, it's not about the money or stuff like that. But what happens, you know? Oh, it's just yeah. Like, yeah. I mean, I don't mind it. if it's if it's like if it's like uh, like like they don't want to pay for me. It's just like not a big amount of money, but this it just like well, it's still like you put energy to do that. So I I need justice, but I just curious what's happened and then why is it does it happen it's just like that it's not it's not like one thousand dollars project so uh, for me it's fine right right so yeah okay. I mean, so max say it need, still need to chase payment even no reply after 14 days now. i know yeah yeah I've, I've done that i've done that already i've done that okay if this is the situation guys stop working on our work <laughs> Actually, it's okay, you know, like working with Upwork. I got, if this <laughs> is know. the situation because why am I hearing so many complaints from this platform? Okay, this is how okay. it works on Fiverr. On Fiverr, let's say I place an order, I buy, and I didn't approve the work after three days, or I think two, two I forgot it's 48 hours or 72 hours. But if the buyer don't approve or do not request for revision, Fiverr says there's no problem with this, they'll mark it as complete. Then and they, they send the money. They send the money. Because, because the money is automatically sent in the system. So you may want to explore Fiverr. Yeah, you remember we said one of the principles for freelance is number one is very dangerous. 
don't put all your eggs in Upwork. Suppose yeah. the system gets bombed, what are you going to do, right? So you need to have alternatives. So Upwork, okay, if you're comfortable, keep, but also try Fiverr and try other opportunities. I think that's the lesson we learned from here. And I studied they're not so. Yeah. Well, I think so. Yeah, Good. Because, uh, I'm hearing quite a few uh, uncomfortable yeah. stories from Upwork, they, and it's like, yeah. why is it like not tr not protecting the freelancers? At least Fiverr does try to to, to, pr to protect the freelancer. So uh, I'm not very happy to hear all of this, to be honest. So this is uh, uh yeah. actually here's another extra lesson. So don't rely your your, your career shouldn't rely hundred mm. percent on these freelancing sites. We need to learn how to do prospecting, oh, yes. Yes. So make, outreach, yeah. and all of this. And your rates, yeah. you can do exactly the same same work, but if you do the prospecting and closing yourself, the rates actually go five times, ten times higher. Yes. And, yeah. uh, for my case, it's actually more than that, maybe hundred times. <laughs> mm. Yeah. So this is why yeah. we need to learn how to do prospecting. But uh, okay, we are happy to hear this and actually see how we can help. Okay. Yeah, and this is this is why we we mentioned we are although we are busy but we are working on a program where we can help uh, people like yourselves and others to to be able to prospect properly so that you can really determine your rates because this is like a doctor going to a hospital and they know they are going to operate patients always they don't have to chase for patients right imagine if the doctor was chasing out the patient yeah. and then putting yeah. on the lab coat and then going. So as freelance professionals, we need to find a way of predictably getting our prospects so that every day we wake up, we are really not prospect chasing, but we are doing the work because like 75% of our time, really even like up to 80, 20, 80, right? 20% prospecting, 80% doing the work so that we commit to us, to our clients and deliver the job. And so we are working on how we can be able to help you. And so let's yeah. keep growing, let's keep working hard so that this yeah. is a symptom of a, a bigger problem. The bigger problem yeah. is yes, I think prospecting. That... We, are, we have a problem with prospecting and closing. Yeah. Okay. yeah. 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 Take a while to guess how much time I spend on prospecting. Just guess, it's okay. Um, 10. <laughs> 10. Um, definitely under 10. <laughs> maybe, maybe three. Really? <laughs> I spend most of my time doing the work. Personally, that, that's my number. It's under 10 for sure. <laughs> really? And, and the I thing with like... prospecting, <laughs> yeah, when, when, you, when you get good with prospecting, sometimes in a year, you just need one good client or two good clients or three good clients. So if you have like no more than three, if you have more than three, you go crazy. If, if the quality of the work has to be good, just about where you guys are right now, probably three would be max. So that not max, max, no max, right? <laughs> three would be maximum. <laughs> okay, so, okay, go on, Jay. Yeah. Uh, no, I, uh, yeah, so most of the time, last time I can't believe this, to be honest. Last time I keep thinking those who are, making five, uh, 10k plus five digits a month they spend so much time uh, prospecting actually it's not 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 really most of the time they're doing the work All right so uh, we need to have ways it's not about how much time you spend on prospecting it's how effective you are um, how effective you are so how effective you are is affected by the type of people you're talking with if you're talking with losers and uh yeah, this is uh, speaking for experience. You're talking about after you talk with the person, you feel like pulling your hair, right? That's the wrong person. So uh, talk with the right person, know how to show them that you're different. And nowadays, I don't even need to tell them I'm different. I just like, hey, let's discuss about business. I listen. I give them some ways to improvement. I give them clarity. This is how you run your business. Then sometimes I hear the phrase, well, I guess you know my business better than me. Then once you do that, they they will now they have a problem. You don't have a problem. Their problem is they need to get you on, on their team. So we need to reach that level. We need to learn how to communicate at that level. 
And frankly, it's not that hard. <laughs> it's not that hard. Yeah, I'll take I'll take this as a learning point. You know, like there's a stumble like this, and then probably in the in the future will be worse than this. <laughs> At least I know. All right. Okay. Uh, let's see who else have question. Just unmute and just just uh, ask in the community. If let's say question, uh, I actually have one question because right now uh, my time is full, my bandwidth is full, so I'm I still upsell my my old client and then I'm waiting she my uh, she reply, and then she thinking is the my upsell my upsell my uh, my 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 service, uh, he need to uh they need to think is that the good investment. But I'm also very scared once they say yes, I want I want you to do more. I want you to do more and they really to pay me, I think I think it's three triple pay me three both, I think. So I'm thinking right now I, I need to form form my team or just pass the work to another people. So my question is how can I get the right people? Because I I I learned close prospect closing and prospecting but i i thinking asking the question or recruiting also another skill so i'm asking uh, coach Gerald and jay maybe you can help me okay what are the things that you need you think you need to outsource um i think i want to do the management i i just manage the manpower and and all the works i leave to another uh leave to my uh my co-worker Associate. Okay. So, what type of work do you want others to do? Uh, copywriter. Copywriter. Yeah. Well, it's not like we have copywriters here, right? I mean, too bad we don't have any copywriters in this group. There's nobody you can approach. <laughs> <laughs> we we yeah. have uh, you. We have Anastasia. We have Bo. We have Vincent. They're all copywriters. Oh yeah, yeah. that's right. <laughs> Yes, you see the beauty, the beauty, and this is why we're saying, let's get as many people into this community as possible, because there's so much work out there that physically our hands cannot handle. So anyone you know who is in the world of copywriting or interested in the world of copywriting, digital marketing, or like uh, graphic design, because we are going to have clients who want graphic design like yesterday, right? Yeah, I'm what not going, going to do the graphic design, please. Exactly. So that's why it's in it's in our collective interest really to to spread the word. So as we grow in this community, our opportunity grows so that our community can become a multi-million dollar community where we all cross fertilize and really gain that gain from from the different backgrounds. So, so what you're mentioning, recruitment, uh, managing teams, yeah, these are these are some of the things. We are actually talking with Jay a couple of days ago because we noticed you people are good with your job, good digital marketer, good copywriter, good closer, maybe, and stuff like that. However, you need other skills like leadership management skills, communication, and all those to run teams because inevitably you are going to become in charge of teams. So it's important you acquire these other skills. So it's a continuous journey of growth. And the good thing is you're going to grow. You have to grow very fast. You have to grow because the, the demand is almost like Max has grown like three times in like three months, right? So, so it means you have to get these skills so quickly. So you kind of almost need technical stuff just to go do this, do this. And this is where coaching comes in. And this is actually why we, we are we are seeing this as an opportunity of masterminding. So on the phone, we can quickly say, hey, Gerard or Jay, oh, and I said that this is my situation. How do we do this, right? So that you have your back covered. So what Max you are facing right now speaks to why we actually would like us to grow as a community. Yes, Jay, take from there. First, go buy this book. Uh, in fact, start with this, Surrounded by Idiots. Okay, so the funny thing is this book was recommended not by my client, but my client's wife. I wonder why. I don't know why. Yeah. Bo, don't laugh. Come on. Very rude. <laughs> Second book, 
surrounded by bad bosses. Now, this book, even if you're not running team, understanding this book will improve your closing rate. Okay? Will improve the closing rate, will improve the way you communicate with other people because you don't want to talk to others in the way that you like to be talked with. You want to talk to other people in the way that they like, not how we like it. All right? So this is number one. This is number two. Max, you can get both of these from Lazada if I'm not mistaken. I can send you the link. Just remind me after this. Okay. So uh, these two books will help you a lot. So once I read this, I realize actually I make a lot of mistakes. Okay. This, this book. Because uh, I manage people the way I like to be managed. So this, is, uh, this will help you a lot. Okay. Uh, the other things like uh, how we delegate, how we communicate, those later let's get the mind ready first you want to be able to see it that way once you're clear on that uh, you're able to know oh this person is which type okay ruby sapphire pearl emerald which type which combination okay now knowing that now how should i speak to them is it more direct more indirect should i speak fast should should, should i you know how do i want to speak so those are the things that come later but let's have a solid foundation first uh, about the different gem type the different personality actually i recommend everybody to learn that it's very very important yeah so what you can do um anastasia you in indonesia right yes yes and the and the rest in malaysia so lazada would be good so what online resource maybe amazon what what would you uh, maybe you can buy those two books on Amazon if Lazada doesn't go to Indonesia. If there's no equivalent. Actually, what, what, what is the main e-commerce in Indonesia? I have no knowledge about that. Uh, Tokopedia, Shopee, Blibli, lot. Okay, so totally Lazada. not familiar with me, but last time when I did some market BB, research, BB, I think, yeah. actually I think I heard of them before but i never really use it the last time i did this research was like three years ago when i'm looking for computers so actually mm. there's a there's some opportunity for us to export over there but i, I yes. think it's a bit too much work so i didn't uh, proceed the suggestion that being said uh, usually books nowadays you can just yeah, buy yeah, from... that's, 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 yeah. Yeah. yeah if you that's can't that's find that. if you can't find on with lazada if they cannot send yeah. indonesia probably you have to send off from the u.s no, or it's something. Here. Yeah, it's here. Okay, it's in sure. Periplus. In Periplus. Okay. I think it, okay, everybody sure. has. Nice. So, yeah, this so is buy the those two books. Yeah. Homework for Both everybody. Of you, all of you. Yeah. By, by, by the mi minimum, surrounded by idiots. Okay? Surrounded by bad bosses. Once you are in a leadership role, you're managing people, you're dealing with other people. Yes, then you. Uh, but that being said, even if you are not, it's still a good read. They should buy both. I, I think they should buy both. Because in the coming weeks, we'll be recommending book of the month, okay? So Jay, just take note of that. So we can just put at least a month, we should have a target to read one book, okay? And you will see, it will raise us to a very high level. Okay. We don't want to be... <laughs> this month, uh -huh, these two right? books. Next month, <laughs> Victor Antonio mastering the upsell. Go and learn how to upsell people. Now, once you read that book, you, ha you can't tell me, oh, Jay, I don't know. Uh, what other things I can provide to, to the customer? What can I suggest? You can just copy paste the script there and sell him emails like, hey, he has so many emails here. You can just take his, so just copy paste the work. So February, it is... Um, Surrounded by idiots. Idiots. Okay. March, we are doing boss. <laughs> April, we are doing... Um, uh, Mastering upsell. the upsell, yeah. Okay, so take, take note of those. So, and, and one of the things what we're going to be doing is uh, we will go around, okay? So for instance, we can say Anastasia, what are the three lessons you've learned from idiots? What is the three lessons you've learned from um, bad boys and then from upsell, right? And that way it's going to raise our level of thinking of operating to the next level. So take note of that. Yes. So this is, uh, I think it's very, very good. Uh, now, why do we want to invest in our own knowledge? Why do we want to invest in ourselves? 
because this is the best return on investment you can spend not buying any like bitcoin or whatever investment property stock this gives you the best return on investment double triple sometimes 10 times the investment and the books because i read them myself i can very uh i can guarantee <laughs> the value is there <laughs> as i won't ask you guys to read okay good okay question time i guess yes Max, thanks for your question. So you help out everybody and you started a, a, a new trend. Every month we're going to have a book discussion now. <laughs> yeah, your, your question triggered this. This was not planned. So you, you, are, you see, you see this, is, this is why we need to be able to talk and share ideas like this. So because I alone or Jay alone probably would never th think about this, right? But Max's question came, it triggered the environment where it kind of opened the eyes to, to, to a need that we are not doing much on our self-development, right? So we need to grow because the client's needs are growing so that we are continuously able to meet the needs of the clients. So, all right, good. Can I request another thing? Because yeah, sure. uh, yeah, just give me one minute. Okay, oh. this, this is a shot. I'm oh, sorry. No, it's not, no, no. I, I got the book already. <laughs> so. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, I just want to do a... Uh, congratulations. Uh, <laughs> you In PDF. <laughs> yes. Okay, uh, I, I just want to do a shout out to Kik. I uh, mean, I asked Bo before, we got, uh, but Bo, the, the time is full. So this shout out, shout out is for Anastasia and Vincent. Okay, if, uh, if let's say you still have time and, and the bandwidth, you want to work extra, extra again, just now I mentioned, uh, this is my email address. You can email me privately. Okay. <laughs> so I will say that uh, the job description is like one month, four emails uh, maximum, four, four emails maximum. That's a newsletter, weekly newsletter. But most of the time we will put the effort in uh, writing social media caption and the uh, uh, Instagram Instagram caption and the Instagram style uh, carousel. Uh, these two things. So the pay the pay is uh is not much. I, I can say uh basically it's just like five hundred to one thousand and plus ten percent commission. This is what I what I offer. Uh, my, uh, my, my client when, when you want to scale. So if let's say you still have, uh, you guys still have the bandwidth, you can just email me, uh, email me uh, privately. Just let me know. Okay, so that's it. Yeah, Thank that's you. nice. That's good. Absolutely, that's good. Okay, so uh, Max's email is in the chat. Anybody who wants it can just feel free to go copy and paste it, uh, reach out. So. Uh, I might need to set up a Discord or something so everybody can communicate there. It will be easier for me yes, to make announcements. Yeah. I, I, I think yeah, we need a, we need a social media. I'll just write this down. We'll talk about yeah. that later. We need a, we need a, a shared account. I think uh, can... Discord. Anybody don't know what Discord is here? Just raise your hand. I'm surprised. Everybody knows. Oh, okay. Anastasia haven't used Discord. Vincent, you know, you, you used Discord before. It is like a group, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Because uh, usually Discord are people who play games, then you use it. <laughs> so I'm, I'm suggesting we could do Discord or Telegram. Uh, either works. I think uh, yeah. either works. I don't use Telegram that much, so I don't know the advantages. It's, um, it's, it's, it, it, for, for now, it, it, WhatsApp could work. I guess everybody. WhatsApp, Discord, um, anyone. Because it basically it's 90% text message anyway. The advantage of Discord is you can all go and like role play. talk. Yeah, do role play and, and stuff like that. Yeah, but we, we will think, see the advantage in, in our next meeting, we'll talk about uh, what we can. Yeah, we'll send uh, everybody some invites for, for that. Yes. Yep. Yeah, boy, saying Slack. 
Okay. Yeah, Slack, uh, is, <laughs> Slack is something like Discord for office workers, right? I mean, like for free, like freelancers. So. Slack, I <laughs> yeah. think it needs to be, uh, need this to pay a fee or something. Uh, I like to have Slack, all those. Slack, we have to pay. Yeah, yeah. I think so. Yeah, I think so. But easy, but Telegram, but I think Telegram is good. A lot of community. I think in my Telegram, all the groups, you know, it's like that. that. That is one of the reasons I don't use Telegram because I don't like my phone, all these notifications. And if I don't read the notifications, then I, I feel like I, I didn't clean a, a spot in my uh, house or something. <laughs> So that that's that's about you know uh whatever works best for uh you guys if it has to be Telegram we will use Telegram. So we will we'll figure that out. Okay, so we have these options. All right, good. So today we already have two very good suggestions how to improve the community. One is book of the month. Second is a channel to uh communicate and share gigs. So this yeah. is very this today's session is very useful <laughs> for us. And my, my, my third challenge would be for us to make conscious effort to grow the community. Um, let's get our friends um, because it's, it's important because sooner or later, Vincent may come and stumble across three gigs and his two hands are full and he's flying out of China. And then what, what do we do? There would be no, imagine you have people who can do job for you while you're flying, right? This is the kind of thing we want to be able to do. So be able to earn, because if the community is bigger, we will have enough resource. Once you close the deal, you will get your 10% or 5%, whatever the case may be, will keep coming, even if you're, you are doing your parent gig, right? So that's the mindset we should be thinking through. Because so that everybody is a winner. That's, that's the message, it's a win, win, win. Okay, so let, let's uh, make it a assignment for everybody this week. Go invite somebody new next week. So, just, just one. Bring just one. one person. Just one. So, just so, one. so next week we have double. <laughs> yes. They can even submit their questions early so we can uh, prioritize their questions for, new, for newcomers. Yeah. And this way you are going to learn closing because one of the things we, we definitely want all of you guys to do is become good in closing. So close at least one person. So you'll see how hard it is, how easy it is. Then when we start the classes, you will see what we need to learn or unlearn so that we can move to the next level. Yeah, so close one person to attend uh, our weekly session. Okay, so Max is uh, typing here, maximum four. Mm. Okay, so it's like a caption plus newsletter email newsletter. Max, here's a tip for you. You need to add a magic word. Training will be provided. Training yes. will be provided. Uh, of course, of course, this one. <laughs> okay. Training will be provided and you can say, um, as long as you're willing to learn, this shouldn't be a problem. Uh, and this this client, mm -hmm. they they are very nice. They even provide any material, any resources you want. If you lack of, uh, you need to use some software. They're willing to pay for you, pay for you. You just use the software for free. The SaaS, that's right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So th these are the things that because but, okay, this is just general communication tip. Uh, when you want to write one to many, you need to. Okay, one on one communication is much easier because if people don't understand, they will, they will ask you. But when you're communicating one to many, copywriting, you need to think upfront what are the objections? What will make other people say no? Then you have to list them out one by one. So when you create a post and you share, number one, they're going to think, I, I don't know how to do this because you can't think they know what you know. You need to write to somebody who is like lack experience. They, you're, they probably. When you're offering gigs, most of the time you're talking to people who have a bit less experience to, with you. So you need to think, okay, what are their objections here? Oh, I don't know how to do this. Oh, if my work is bad, later Max get into trouble. I don't want that to happen. Oh, later I don't know if they are uh, willing to teach me or stuff like that. So you need to handle all of this upfront. So just a, a line, just say uh, training will be provided. But you don't want to make it too easy, so anybody will come here. But so you need, to, which is why I like to write. Um, as long as you are willing to learn, this shouldn't be a problem. 
So you're not setting the requirement too low. Okay, so there's some element of setting expectations. So this is actually useful for everybody. So we answered your question after all, <laughs> without reading the book. <laughs> How to be better manager. <laughs> Yeah, good. Bo, well, go ahead. Yeah. So I have a question, but before that, I just want to confirm, like, what's the perfect audience or what's the target audience for this kind of calls, right? So I have a relative. Um, he's, a free, uh, he's sort of like a freelance web developer, so I'm not sure if he's... Sure, no problem. <laughs> okay, yeah. right. Yeah. He he, he's a, a, a freelance sorry. professional. So this, this community is for independent professionals, digital marketing, copywriting, um, like web design, anything like a job that can be listed in Upwork or um, whatever, all the, the gigs you find where there's a body of knowledge, a discipline where somebody can be paid independently. Our idea is we work together to develop your prospecting, your leadership, your management, your mindset, so that whatever job you do, even if you're a bricklayer, an independent bricklayer, and that's your job, there's no problem. Yeah, you're an independent professional offering a particular kind of service. But obviously, we would prefer people who are on the, uh, the digital area where all of us are operating in the digital space so that communication and all that is easier. So he or she is welcome. Yeah, anyone who is like us, Offering, okay, we can use Fiverr as an example. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Anyone who can list their gig on Fiverr, there's a category for you to list. I think it's 99% welcome. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. So I will like tell him that this call will help him to improve his pros prospecting and closing uh, the, issues, the best right? way is we don't assume what people want. We ask them, currently in your... Uh, freelancing business in your web design what's the biggest challenge you face nine out of ten times you're going to get something sales or marketing related nine out of ten times oh my client's an idiot oh this and that even if they say their client is bad or whatever it's a sales and marketing problem because if you have a bad client it's not your problem if you are forced to work with a bad client you can't fire them you can't unchange them uh, that is your problem you have a prospecting problem all right so uh, nine out of 10 times, if they say, you ask them what is the big, biggest three problem you have or biggest problem you have in your business, it's here. Oh, I, I don't know how to get a good clients. Uh, I don't know how to charge more. I don't know how to close. I don't know how to handle objection. All of these are prospecting, closing. So well, we, we very welcome them. Or some right. of them, they'll say, oh, I don't know the work I delivered, uh, but I don't feel my work is being uh, valued or appreciated. Sounds like a work delivery problem, but it's actually a closing and prospecting problem. Yeah. Mm, yeah. So, I mean, like right now, his situation is like he has a nine to five job. And at the same time, he sort of let his like website freelancing business run itself. It's like he's not actively going out to prospect, but if there's client coming in and asking for quotation or asking for help, then he will help him help him or her right so yeah so first i'll need to know if the person is serious if if the person will attend the session every week we know they are serious okay else right. if the person don't come can't even commit block out this time we know how serious they are <laughs> yeah, right. right it's okay just just uh invite them sometimes it's not it's not their fault sometimes we are just not a good fit and it's okay yeah we are not for everybody okay right so i i have a question uh like after this i mean like right now so um, like, because I had a call with my, with the first agency I worked with, uh, for so long, um, like around five to six, five to six months already. And I asked Jay about this and then he, he, he has his thoughts, but I'm also wondering what everyone is thinking, uh, what everyone's thoughts are. Right. So it's like, um, Go right ahead. now, Go yeah. Ahead. yeah. Okay, please. don't mind the go ahead. Maybe yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, please. So uh it's like um I he talks he talked about like he just lost a client, 
uh, one of the biggest clients we have um, because some other agency is offering like a full stack service, including the service that we're offering. So we sort of got pushed out of the market. And I mean, like, um, and then like the other projects are sort of like, um, it's hard for him to afford to pay me. And then a problem comes, right? So I told him like my situation right now, I have a new client who's paying me like around a hundred, uh, sorry, a thousand dollars a month. Um, and then like another client paying me like, like it's more than what he could afford to pay me, right? So, but he has an objection, which actually make, made me doubt myself, okay? Which is like, when we raise, <laughs> when we, yeah, Jay is pointing a gun to me, but yeah. So <laughs> when we raise our prices, um, we, sh- we want to make sure that we can deliver the value. So this made me doubt myself because like, do, can I actually provide value of like, let's say a thousand dollars to a client? Like, I don't know because I don't have anything to back me up. So it's like, I'm not sure if my value actually worth it. Maybe in three months, the client, the new client will fire me. I'm not sure if that's going to happen. Right. Um, and then like, yeah, I mean, I'm in, I'm in a sort of like a transitional phase. Um, I'm sort of in the middle, so I'm not sure like whether or not I should quit or to, to free up more of my time or I should continue in a, yeah, sort of a, okay. Okay. Uh, a time-wasting do, job. Okay. okay, do I hear that the current, the, your first client is becoming broke? <laughs> something like that, but he does have other clients, right? Um, that can, that is, a, um, that he, that is enough for him. But if I go in and help him, it's like, I'm taking too much from the deal or something like that. Okay, or yes. maybe his client. No, I, get, is I, get, I, I get that. Okay. I see both the, the pearl side of you. Now, when you're making deals, that's why you need to read the, 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 the book that will teach you about personality types. Now, there are personality types now, the phase of you that's showing up with the pearl type that likes to care, that will bend back three times and stuff like that. But that personality won't help you too much. It's good during some times, but most times people will take advantage of you, right? So my quick answer to that is run. <laughs> right. Yes, why? Because your environment is more powerful than your willpower, which means if you're going to be with a client who is a loser, quote unquote, yeah, there are many reasons why we lose clients, but we shouldn't whine over a loss of a client. If we are doing prospecting right, we should be able to get the other clients. So my suggestion is focus on the client where who already paying you 1,000, 1,000 plus, right? So that you free your time. I remember the other client, the one paying you 500 or 600 a month. Is that yep. the one, right? Yeah, this yes. one is, uh, I mean, like, yes, I yes, believe yes. that's the one, but the pay has already down. I mean, initially it was like maybe six or 700, but right now it's like 350 to 400. Yeah. So yeah, it's really- <laughs> You would better do the job of Max. What Max has just posted on the net. Oh, right. You are much better working with Max at this point in time than wasting time. Now, as a, as a, as a digital person, as a digital nomad, you're paid for your expertise, your experience, and your time. Your knowledge, what you know, your time, and you know the value you bring, basically. So you shouldn't waste your value servicing clients who are losers, period. They, they are, this is a non, a non-negotiable thing. If a client is a loser, you have no business working with them because you don't have pension. You're not like a government worker where you can go to sleep, but then you're going to get pension at the end of the month. No, it doesn't work. So you remember you are going to retire when you make enough money. Government officials can go to office and do almost nothing, right? Because at the end of their service, there's what they call gratuity. Some money government pays, and they will just go and eat that. Now, you have to 
earn every bit of your coin. And that's why you must value your time. And would like to empower you to value your time to be able to fit more cash per minute. You know, Bill Gates fits every second he earns like $1,000. Bill Gates every second, like this, $1,000 in his pocket. Jack Ma probably about the same. One minute like this, a thousand bucks. Okay. Let's, let's build our capacity so that we're able to command premium prices and premium quality of life. And we begin that by firing clients that don't meet our criteria. So run. That's the short version. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, like, I get that, but I'm still having trouble like justifies, justifying my own value. Don't right? justify. The, you, the client's failure is not your value. It has nothing. That's why I'm not even mentioning anything about your value. That's all in your mind. Absolutely. 100%. The client's failure is nothing to do with you. The other clients will actually, the more reason why you have to focus on these clients so you even give them higher value service so that they will even feel bad that they're paying you a thousand. They will want by themselves to pay you 1,500, 2,000 for the quality of what you give. Oh. Yeah, right, right. So it's like freeing up my attention for more valuable tasks, something like that. This yeah, is, exactly. yeah, this is my, um, the session that I mean, like I talk with the client about this i mean the agency owner about this like the whole session i was hinting like oh you and i both you and i should free up our time to focus on valuable tasks right so yes yeah and then yes. he's yeah he sort of get get it but um uh, he still wants me to yeah be on the agency and uh, be in the agency and then done yeah you can recommend a junior person Okay, say, okay, if, let's assume it's called Tom. Say, Tom, I have a cousin, I have a younger brother, work with him. So he can begin there with 300, 400, and then when they are great. And that's the best way. The best way you can have that client is recommend a junior colleague. And from there, the, the person, but not for you to remain on that account. It doesn't um, serve you. But pl yes. please, please, for that client, please don't recommend anybody in this group. To, to that client. <laughs> no, no, that's why I say a junior, that's why I say a junior, a junior person, somebody who is just beginning to, to try his or her feet, but definitely not somebody on this, on this table. No, definitely. Yeah, right. so, Jay, don't, Jay, don't say that. Well, you can recommend that to me and help you to fire the clients afterwards <laughs> when I get more experience. Don't you worry. I will do the nasty job. You can do oh. you can be the kind person. <laughs> wow. <Okay. laughs> so if you want that, maybe I can recommend to them. Okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. Yeah. okay. Well, well, word of warning first, Vincent. This guy, I uh, won't recommend you working for more than three months. Uh. Okay. Yeah, but I, I mean it is still a it is still a good start. You yeah, it's better yes. than me earning 150 bucks per month. You know? if sure, I can sure. If he, if he can earn 300, that's okay. That's almost yeah. double, right? Yeah, no problem. I can grow from yeah. there and I, three months later, I can help you to fire the clients on your behalf. Oh, without, yeah. Without telling your name out. <laughs> no, maybe 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 I will betray you by then saying, oh, actually, Bo asked me three months ago to fire oh. you. No. <laughs> I, I like this. This is, it, isn't it fun, guys? It's, it's just, this is good. We should be able to. So again, part of this community is to is is the sense of belonging, because we are all human beings, right? We we all want to belong, and sometimes when we get like a, a tough time, right now I see Anastasia's mind is still on fiber, right? <laughs> Her mind is still a little bit <laughs> occupied there, but this happens, right? So I just want to say this is life. This is called life. Life is always like this. It goes up and down. But the good thing is if you have a community that's with you, it will even up, okay? So 14 days haven't passed, but also like Max said, you can follow up and see what has happened so that you, you I'm sure what is bothering you probably is the money, is the time your colleagues committed, right? So you are like, okay, how do I talk to my colleagues and stuff like that? So, but. Yeah, this one shows 
it has highlighted a bigger problem, but also it has given us one of the lessons we all go through life, and that's loss. Loss is part of growth. There's no success without loss. So just check this is as normal life. Right, yeah. right. And Good. then I have, can I ask a follow up question? Yeah, sure. It's sure. like, yeah, sorry about that. It's like, um, what if. No, I'm no, not, follow this. This go on, go on. Yeah, okay, okay, right. So, what if I'm actually wrong about uh, my, my decision of actually quitting, right? For example, let's say um, the, the, the client that I just um, starting to work with, which is a dog training client, what if she's not happy with my work in like a month or two, right? So, and then I got fired. <laughs> like after that so yeah i mean and then like i sort of like um quit the last one and i got fired in the new one and then i have nothing left right so um what would you like do in this case <laughs> shoot myself <laughs> right. no i shoot myself when i hear this <laughs> oh, oh no it, it, for me it 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 tells me need for more training it takes time to gain the confidence. Hmm. It, what you, the, the thoughts in Anastasia's mind, the thoughts in your mind, I'm not surprised. Actually, for me, and, and as we, after our meetings, we always meet with Jay to, to see, actually, this, this means we, we have work to do, right? We have work to help you get more accustomed to life as in, in, the, in the digital world, in the in the freelance world. But again, what I can say is it's okay. Don't worry, be positive and just focus on this um, dog trainer client. Put the best, put your best service, give your best foot forward and, and do the best. Yeah, and, and, and keep, collaborating with, because I see you and, and so like from what I see, you and Anastasia can take on this work with Max while uh, Vincent takes your former client. So you already have something there. So everybody's a winner. Actually, so you leave more, space, not, you leave, yes, uh -huh, go ahead. I'm, I'm not sure if he has so much time to take on uh, Max, but I'll leave that to him. But what I want to say to Bo, it's, the client that you're going to fire, I'd rather you fire the person and go and spend the time on developing your skill. You, it's probably better for you for, for that situation because I know that client, it's a dead end. It's, it's good for a first client. Don't get me wrong. Yes. Okay. But you have way past that point now. So this is the problem of being a pearl. <laughs> Am I a pearl? Or... Yes. Oh, yes, okay. you are. <laughs> I don't know if I'm, I'm a pearl. Yeah. That's why you have to read it. So it's very difficult for you to break a relationship. It goes almost to your bonds. So you think 2,000 times before saying no. Yeah, I mean, I'm finding it hard to, to, to just say, uh, like, I'm, I'm, the whole call, I was avoiding the word fire, right? Because, like, <laughs> yeah, it's like, I mean, I don't the want to word. say I want to... The F word. <laughs> Yeah, the F word, right? So I want to avoid saying that I want to fire him just so that I can focus on um, other more valuable stuff. It sounds like he, he's not yeah. valuable, right? So I mean, yes. yeah, so that's why I'm... No, he, he's, he's not a valuable first time, second timer, right? Or for somebody who has gone beyond six months, right? So in, in, because one of the, the growth cycles in the freelance business is we have different levels, right? We grow along the path. So if you get stuck, it's like if a baby is supposed to be in the mother's womb on for nine months. If the baby stays there 12 months, there's a problem, right? There's a problem. That's why you will go to theater. <laughs> so you cannot be, you have to get born, right? So the whole point, this is why. Just what I'm seeing, Anastasia and you work on with Max and let's get Vincent to double his income and go and work with your client so that you, you that, that's the easiest thing. And you use this and we are here to support you. You use this opportunity to say, I'm unable to continue with you, but I'm not going to leave you in the rain. I have brought a colleague in the name of Vincent and then you sit together in an onboarding meeting 
you can help Vincent to settle maybe for one week, right? As, as he's adjusting with the client if that's necessary, and then you leave. So you don't leave Vincent in the rain, you also don't leave the client in the rain. So it's a win-win for the three of you, for client Vincent and you. And then as a pearl, your heart is good as you interface with Anastasia and with Max. That would be a good way of doing it. So it's a win-win for everybody. Okay, I'll tell that us. Would be my, I'll yeah. tell a story that no, probably you, not none of you guys will, will believe, but you can go and check my YouTube channel. I think this is one of the earlier testimony I got from a, a student. So I was in the exact situation with you. Uh, this client was from Texas. I was with him for I think over two years for real estate. So I find it so hard to say no to him because during my rainy days, during the bad days, uh, he actually kept me around. Okay, so that time he was paying me not much, I think four, five, four hundred, five hundred dollars a month. But I find it so hard to like uh, get rid of the account. So I actually hired someone from Philippines, trained the person and like onboard the person, stick with, we had three party meetings for one month. Okay, so I actually like really like deliver. Then after that, the training, after the one month, the, the, the Philippine person just quit. Okay, so I'm like, uh, this is all just a waste of my time. But the client was very understanding. He's like, yeah, I can see your rate now. It's a bit high. And frankly, it's the nature of the work you are doing. It's not very high, high. It's not very sales related. It's like social media posting. It's not a revenue generating thing. And Facebook algorithm is like the reach is so low. So he also understands it's no longer something that we want to do. So we ended the relationship. But that time it was very hard for me to do it. Nowadays, when I find difficulty, I just take the gun and shoot. Simple. <laughs> so I understand what you're going through, but you just have to do it. Thanks yeah. a lot. Good. Good. Okay. okay. It's, so we've uh, come to the end. Yes. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. Come to the end of this. Then uh, one call to action for everyone is let's close some somebody new to come on this group uh, next week. Then... Uh, if they have questions, you can even like, hey, you know, would you like this? When you close them, would you like this? What is the problem that you have in your business? They'll tell you and like, hey, you know, what if I have people who can help you to solve this? Would you be interested? They'll say, yes, how? Okay, how about you come Saturday at this time? Okay, so with that, I'd like to thank everybody for coming. I'd like to thank everybody for... Uh, actually being vulnerable and uh, asking for help, uh, asking co uh, questions like this. So it's a very good way for everybody to grow together. All right, so uh, we'll see you guys next week. Bye-bye. Okay, thank you, Thanks, everyone. Thanks. Thank you. Bye. Bye.